Today, we're going to dive deep into one of the most exciting discussions in the world of photography and videography, the Canon EOS R6 Mark III. Now, if you're a hybrid shooter like me, you probably already know that the Canon EOS R6 Mark II nailed a lot of things. It's been a powerhouse for both photo and video creators, but after using it extensively, there are still some areas where Canon could push things further. I end this breakdown, I'll cover my top requested upgrades and features that I believe should make it into the Canon R6 Mark III. From a sharper and more advanced sensor, to next-generation autofocus, improved video codecs, better thermal management, and even workflow-friendly upgrades like card slots and customizable exposure tools, we'll unpack everything in detail. So whether you're a professional wedding photographer, a travel filmmaker, a commercial shooter, or just a passionate content creator, this deep dive will help you understand not only what the R6 Mark II offers today, but what the R6 Mark III needs to bring to the table if Canon wants to stay ahead of Sony, Nikon, and Panasonic in 2025 and beyond. The heart of the camera, sensor upgrades the Canon EOS R6 Mark II came with a 24.2MP CMOS sensor, a nice bump from the original R6's 20MP. While that increase wasn't revolutionary, it aligned Canon with most full-frame competitors. But looking ahead, the R6 Mark III really needs to push beyond this, rumors already suggest we could see a 30-32 megapixel sensor, which would be a sweet spot for many shooters. This bump would not only give more cropping flexibility for wildlife and sports photography, but also enhance resolution for commercial, studio, and landscape work. Imagine being able to reframe without sacrificing detail, something Sony and Nikon users have enjoyed for a while, but megapixels aren't everything. What Canon truly needs is a stacked CMOS sensor like the R3 or Sony A9 series. This would drastically reduce rolling shutter distortion, improve dynamic range, and unlock faster readouts for high-speed continuous bursts. Currently, the R6 Mark II performs well at ISO ranges up to 12,800, but shadow recovery and deep blacks sometimes get mushy due to aggressive noise reduction. A stacked sensor could deliver cleaner results, more usable detail, and smoother highlight roll-off, something hybrid shooters crave for both cinematic video and raw photography video recording. Push to the next level video is where hybrid shooters demand the most flexibility. And the R6 Mark II already gave us solid tools, 4K 60p oversampled from 6K with no crop point 6K raw recording externally via Automos, full HD up to 180 frames per second for slow motion, improved thermal management compared to the original R6. Dot, but the R6 Mark III needs to raise the bar even higher if it wants to compete with Sony's FX series. Panasonic's S5 II and Nikon Z8. Here are the biggest must have upgrades 4K 120p without crop or heavy compression, 240 fps in full HD for cinematic slow motion workflows, internal ProRes RAW recording, not just external. This would streamline editing workflows and eliminate fragile micro HDMI setups. Full size HDMI port Canon has already given this to the R1 and R5 Mark II, so the R6 Mark III should absolutely follow the better log profiles. Canon should bring C Log 2. Officially, giving filmmakers more dynamic range instead of being locked into C log 3. Preview LUTs inside the camera, so users can load their own LUTs to match their editing pipeline, and of course, we can't ignore overheating. While Canon improved things in the R6 Mark II, creators still want longer recording times for 4K 60p and even future 6K RAW. Even without an internal fan, smarter passive cooling could help wedding videographers, documentary shooters, and YouTubers who film long sessions. Recording workflow and media upgrades The R6 Mark II came with dual UHS-2 SD card slots, which are fine for most use cases. But once you start recording high bitrate RAW or 40 frames per second bursts, those SD cards become a bottleneck for the R6 Mark III. Canon needs to add at least one CFexpress Type-B slot alongside UHS-2, like the Canon R5. Option for dual format slots for flexibility, proxy recording across all video modes, not just external raw workflows, better metadata and sidecar files. For third-party editing compatibility, this would modernize the camera's workflow for both professional photographers and videographers, making it a true hybrid beast. Autofocus, the brain of the camera autofocus is arguably the single most important feature for hybrid shooters. The R6 Mark II already gave us impressive AI-based subject recognition, tracking people, animals, birds, and vehicles. It nails focus most of the time, but there's still room for improvement, for the Canon R6 Mark III, I'd like to see people priority AF with the ability to register and prioritize specific faces. Do not track override for ignoring background faces, improved. Video autofocus that doesn't hunt in tricky lighting, programmable rack focus options, tap to focus with smooth transitions. Smarter predictive AF for sports. 
concerts, and weddings, where action is fast and unpredictable. If Canon integrates these upgrades, the R6 Mark III could leapfrog Sony's AF system in real world usability. Ergonomics and design improvements Canon has long been praised for excellent ergonomics, and the R6 Mark II continued that tradition. But some refinements would take it further refined button layout, make more buttons fully customizable, especially when switching between photo and video, improved joystick. Many users preferred the concave feel of older models, better build. Quality, more metal, less plasticky feel, like Nikon and Fuji bodies, dedicated still slash video switch that isn't too easy to bump accidentally, more robust weather sealing while keeping weight reasonable. As someone who has literally dropped my R6 Mark II in sand, I can say it's durable, but a bit more prograde toughness would be welcome, extra features that would elevate the R6 Mark III here are some smaller, but still impactful, upgrades Canon could implement on-screen exposure tools while recording. Unlimited 14-bit raw photo shooting at all frame rates, custom modes with full control. Allowing every setting to be adjusted separately, improved color science tweaks to match cinema line cameras even closer. AI-powered composition assistance, suggesting framing adjustments. Why these upgrades matter for hybrid shooters The Canon EOS R6 lineup has always been the perfect middle ground between enthusiast and professional. It's not as expensive as the R5 or R1, but it delivers nearly professional-level performance at a more accessible price point. By improving sensor resolution, autofocus intelligence, internal codecs, recording workflows, and ergonomics, Canon could make the R6 Mark III the ultimate hybrid camera of 2025. For photographers, this means cleaner images with more dynamic range of faster, more reliable AF for once-in-a-lifetime moments, stronger build quality for travel and outdoor work, for filmmakers and YouTubers, this means internal RAW and ProRes for simplified editing, reliable recording with fewer overheating issues, better. Slow motion and cinematic flexibility, final thoughts I don't want this to sound like I'm bashing the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. On the contrary, it's been one of the most balanced cameras Canon has ever made. But as competitors push forward with higher resolutions, smarter AF, and stronger video pipelines, the R6 Mark III has to evolve. If Canon can deliver just a few key upgrades, 30MP sensor, stack design, 4K 120p internal, CFexpress slot, customizable AF, and better thermal management, this camera will be a game changer for creators worldwide. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and I'll see you in the next video.